The Nerdy Ninjas are back. We are well rested. However, our coffee has not kicked in yet, so you have to be a little bit patient. We decided to wake up and get moving. We're going to start building again. The first thing will be to install the motherboard into the motherboard tray and get all our wire management mojo flowing. So stay tuned and let's see what happens. Next thing we're going to do is we'll install uh, our IO shield. Nice, this one's cushioned so it won't cut my fingers up. Want to look at the orientation, make sure everything's correct. So if everything's uh, right side up and you can read it, you're golden. So just get that pushed in, should lock into place. Make sure it's seated all around, that way your motherboard will mount correctly. There you go, nice and flush. So the next thing we'll do is we'll take our motherboard Pop it into place. Make sure our holes are lined up. Now when you uh, mount the motherboard, you'll have to push it in just a little bit. So pressure applies to the IO plate. It has a slight springing action to it. We'll get our screwdriver. Apply a little bit of pressure. And the screw should go in easily. You wanna make sure you're using the right screws for the standoffs. Sometimes you'll see uh, standoffs that are 632nd. Sometimes you'll see that they're three millimeters. So just make sure you have the right type. If it's too hard to screw it in, you don't wanna cross thread, thread it and mess it up. You shouldn't have to force anything when you're installing a computer or installing a hardware into a computer, I'd say. See, so it looks like I might have to loosen these up a little bit. Get that to line up. See, that's the only one that's not lining up quite right. 